What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today we're going to be catching some crabs and making crab cakes. So I have here one of my hoop nets, and I'm going to toss this off the edge here, off the rocks. And I know there are rock crab right in there, so we'll definitely catch some of that. And I'm hoping on the other side, where it's a little bit sandy, there might be some Dungeness crabs. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. This side does look a little bit sandier, so we'll give it a shot over here and see if we can pull up a dungy. Check this out, brand new rod from Okuma, the crab snare special. They made it just for us, for us uh, NorCal folks that, that need a, a crab snaring rod. First time using it, so we'll see how it does. It's got a really nice cork grip. It's like cork and rubber. Let's launch this thing. And I think I'll just go straight out that way. I don't think there's any rocks out there. Could be wrong. Let's, just gotta give it a little bounce. One, two, three. Oh. We'll leave it there. We'll check, we'll do a 10 minute soak and see if we get one right here. And we got a second rod as well. It is exactly noon right now, so we'll give it 10 minutes. Check on these guys. We'll leave that uh, hoop net for about an hour and see how many crabs we can get. Next Tuesday, December 20th, we are going to have a YouTube premiere of my film, The Tongass National Forest. And we're gonna, I've never tried doing those YouTube premieres, but we're gonna do it for this one because it's really awesome and it's this like super cool documentary style film that I created uh, while I was in Alaska this year. Actually, we're going to have two premieres, one virtual and one in person. The virtual premiere will be on YouTube December 20th, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And that's for everybody around the world. But if you happen to be in the Bay Area this time of year, I will be doing an in-person premiere and that will be on the big screen in a movie theater in Oakland, California on December 18th, 12.30 p.m. So hope to see you there. Here's a quick trailer of the film. A portion of our world so pure lies the largest temperate rainforest in the nation, the Tongass National Forest. Tickets are available on OutdoorChefLife.com slash events. Every ticket sale will be going to charity to help support salmon habitat across Southeast Alaska. More details in the description. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Let's give this a check. Oh, I think I can already feel it. It's, let's see, actually, I'm not sure. Let's see, here we go. Oh, there's nothing on there. I'll just let it back down. Nothing yet. All right, let me check this one as well. Make sure my drag's tight. And there's nothing on there. All right, we'll leave it down there. Leave it for longer than 10 minutes. So I'm kind of taking a look on my trap down there you can see the green it's actually the visibility is really nice today so you can you can see it and I don't see any crab on there I can see the bait and I'm pretty sure there is there is no crab that's been in there for about half an hour there's usually this place is littered with rock crab usually hmm weird we'll see what happens okay now it's been 20 minutes let's see if we have anything on the line oh let's see tiny tiny baby it's a tiny one hey, 
buddy. Okay, so far we're not looking so good. Maybe I should have just gone to the beach and threw crab snares off the beach. I didn't really want to put on waders. <laughs> it's a beautiful day though. This would have been the perfect day to go to the beach. Okay, let's give this check again. Okay, there's something on there. Oh, that one. oh that one slipped off my hip. Oh, it's a tiny rock crab again. Felt like it was bigger at first. Oh, that's still pretty small. Get, get yourself out of the loops. It's got big claws though. give this guy a measure it's pretty small yeah this smallest width here is four and a half inches and it seems like he's like more like a over half an inch shy of that so a little too small oh man guys what are you gonna do it's not looking good I need a plan B Check our second rod. Something on there, but uh, let's see. Be a little bigger. Okay, another rock crab. Oh, he just let go. It wasn't even snared. He was just holding on to the <laughs> to the trap. It's not dungy. Yeah. Maybe it's the size just not sandy enough for there to be dungeness. I figured that might be the case, but I had to give it a shot. All right, you know what? I'm going to pull these in and kind of think about what we're going to do here. My switch plans. Nothing. Okay, let's pull this up. See if there's anything in there. Can't really see any. Oh, there's one. That's a, I mean, that's a decent sized rock crab there. Pretty fat. It's got pretty fat claws. Well, I mean... The crab itself is pretty small, but claws are big. Claws are nice and fat. Hmm. Looks like a legal size. They only have to be four inches. Yeah, just over four inches. This isn't gonna be enough though. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Okay, so we switched locations and I ended up throwing that small rock crab back. And we'll see how we can do here. It's a bit sandier, definitely. Uh, so hopefully, hoping, hoping for Dungeness crabs. Okay, let's give this a shot. I found some chicken on the ground. Probably somebody's leftover bait. So we'll give that a try. That's pretty good, it launched pretty far. All right, we'll leave that, we'll give it We'll give it 10 minutes, maybe maybe a little less. <sighs> come on, crabs, come on. Let me give it a pull and see how it's doing. I think we got one on there. Let's see what it is. Come on, be a dungeness, yes. Looks like a dungy. Waves are getting big. That right there is a Dungeness crab. You gotta measure it. It's a little borderline. It's missing a claw. So, uh, it's a little short, it looks like. Oh, oh my god, actually. That's a keeper. Five and three quarters, just over. Boom. Inside the notch. There and there. And boom. Doesn't doesn't go into that five and three quarter slot just over just the keeper wow that's a it's a keeper <laughs> we got crab okay we'll put him in the live well over here i don't think there's a hole in there <laughs> i think he'll just be hanging oh. out <laughs> why is he laying like that he's just to be dead for some reason That's good. I thought it was gonna go under. Oh my gosh, there might be a hole down there. No, I think we're good. 
No, I think we're good. I don't think he can go anywhere. <laughs> That's a good cast. Yeah, this rod launches those crab snares. Oh, oh, yeah. Think it's a double? That's a good one. I have to go over these rocks. I gotta time it. Oh no. Bad timing. Bad timing. Oh no. Oh, I'm down still. Right here, right here. Oh. Oh, he looks soft. Looks a little small too. Oh, he soft flipped. Oh, soft flipped, I guess. Looks like a keeper too, but... but... The snare, look at that. Got him really good. Yeah. Shell is really clean. Normally when it's super clean like that, it means they just molted, but this guy actually feels pretty firm. Yeah, not soft at all in the body or the legs. So let's see if it's a keeper. Another close one. Yep, that's a keeper. A slightly bigger than the last. Oh yeah, definitely made the right decision on switching spots. Sometimes you gotta leave, leave and find a new spot and it'll all work out. Got two crabs. Well, we got two in a row on the crab snare special, um, but I'm gonna need one more at least, one bigger one. So those two are both kind of small. I think we can do it. I think we can. The crab activity after those two have definitely slowed down. Now the crabs haven't even touched the bait since uh, those two. And it's been about 25 minutes or maybe 30 minutes. Oh, that's a big one. A good one. That one's better. Heck yeah. Barely got the claw. Look at that. <laughs> Barely. Almost lost him on the edge too. Oh yeah, he lost his little tip of his claw. This guy definitely has some battle scars. Two legs missing. One claw is broken. But it's a big one. Yep, over six and a half inches. It's a good one. Small. It's a female. Okay, this one's a little female Dungeness crab with some eggs. This one's undersized, but uh, the reason for the size limits is because at a certain maturity, they're able to produce. And you can see here, this is probably about maybe four inches, four and a half inches across, and she's already producing some roe. And by the time we catch them, um, they've already reproduced a couple of times at least so that's why we have size limits and I'm gonna put this one back gently so she doesn't lose, lose the eggs all right couple more pulls and we're out of here let's see it hasn't been that long maybe five minutes but let's just give it a check no Left it on there. We'll leave it be. Let's check our crab snare special. I don't think there's anything on there. There's only been a few minutes. These crabs are moving very slowly today. All right, last pull. Come on, one more crab. Give me one more crab. Nope. Nothing on that one. Okay, here we go. Nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna dispatch these and I'm gonna clean them out. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. You're gonna be tasty. Excuse me. Whoa, dude. Whoa. He wants to do it himself. Okay. I'm gonna try to make this quick. I'm gonna try to make this quick. Just let go. Move the apron. 
and right in the middle, right there, and it's done. Completely dead now. So I'm gonna clean these guys out. Boom, take the face off. Take the gills off. And then fold them in. Crack, right there. And we'll shake out the guts. Rinse it nice and clean. But you know what, I'm gonna keep the carapace just in case I get um, asked by a fishing game or stopped by them so I can make sure that uh, we're legal here. Man, the sun is setting so early. We're getting close to that shortest day of the year. I wanted to cook it on the beach today, but uh, we're not gonna have enough light. So you know what? We'll cook it tomorrow for lunch. All right guys, let's get to this crab cake recipe. I'm gonna show you this amazing recipe using a lot of Japanese flavors in there. Saikyo miso, uh, we're gonna be using yuzu and all this delicious stuff. So let's get to it. Oh, and I've already deshelled all of the crab meat. It's right here. I actually only did two of them because I got lazy, I felt. Figured that was enough. So let's get to it. Okay, I think that's enough. And I want to mince this up right here. I think that's good right there. You can use green onions or chives. This right here is called Saikyo Miso. And it is a, a bit sweeter miso than normal. Um, and uh, it's really good for these kind of marinades and uh, flavorings. I'll leave a link in the description for these. Boom. This is what's going to give it a ton of flavor. Nice big spoonful. Gonna add a little cupy in there. There we go. Crack an egg. This right here is a yuzu and it was grown um, by my friend Cami. So thank you, Cami, for the yuzu. And if you don't have this, uh, which a lot of people probably won't, uh, you can use a lemon too. So I'm gonna use this yuzu zest. We got a couple of them here. Oh, yuzu is currently in season at the farmer's market. There you go. I guess some you try to find some yuzu at the farmer's market. It's very, very aromatic. Mm, it smells so good. It's like a, a little bit sweeter, citrusy uh, scent and flavor than uh, a lemon, but a lemon would do just fine. And I'm also gonna add a little tiny bit of hondashi. A little MSG to kick up the flavor even more. I want a little bit of heat in there, so I have a serrano and I'll use about half of it. And first I'll cut it into quarters like that, long ways, and then just chop it. There you go. Mince that up and it's ready to go. This is panko. And add that in there, about a quarter cup. And we'll mix that all up. Oh, and this is so fragrant. Mm, it smells so good. Okay, now that we have our slurry, we're gonna add our Dungeness crab. And I have about a pound of Dungeness crab here. Dungeness crab meat, and I kind of broke everything up. So we'll just dump it right in. Now we'll mix that in. Oh yeah. Take a look at that. I'm gonna start heating my pan here. And a good crab cake always has a ton of crab. Now I'm gonna make our cakes. We'll take a nice generous spoonful and we'll just get in there with our hands. This is panko here. Just drop it on the panko. 
both sides. Handle it with care. I'm just gonna put that right there for now. Just make a few first before I drop it in. Pan is nice and hot. Got a generous amount of oil in there. The heat on the stove is a little bit of a challenge to control. Yeah, the smell of this, you can still smell that yuzu so much. It smells amazing. Yeah, now I'm gonna make a little dipping sauce. Kewpie. A bit of that yuzu juice. Oops. Try to check it out after. Yuzu juice or lemon juice. Mix that in. We'll take that delicious yuzu mayo. A little bit of our kelp chili crisp as well. Because why not? There you go. And we'll put a little katsubushi on top. Katsubushi is bonito flakes. And then we'll put this aonori. Aonori furitake. Bam. There you have it. Take a look at that. Delicious looking crab cakes. I have a second batch here. We'll do it slightly different on this one. We'll put some okonomi sauce. Or this is actually tonkatsu sauce. Very similar. Just dress, put that on there generous amount and we'll do the QP too use mayo also katsubushi there it is boom done oh okay here we have it guys look at this delicious looking Dungeness crab crab cakes let's see if all the hype that I put on is true. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> all right. Try this one first. Thank you. I like that yuzu in there. Wow. It really brightens it. Wow. Oh yeah. These are superb. <laughs> Seriously. Like the, all the richness of the crab and the miso, all that depth of flavor, and then the yuzu to cut it all through, cut through everything and brighten it, brighten it up. <sighs> Ooh. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Mm, it's so crabby. So crabby. And that panko outside layer. Nice and crunchy. Mm. All the textures are perfect. Soft on the inside. Mm -hmm. Crunchy on the outside. And delicious. Highly recommend this recipe right here. Mm -hmm. And that yuzu kind of lingers too. It's very strong, like citrusy, sweet kind of flavor. And definitely that uh, saikyo miso. Mm. Mm. Puts it over the top. Top notch crab cakes right here. I think these are the, the best crab cakes I've ever had. I would have to agree on that. <laughs> 100%. These are delicious. Wow. Mm. I mean, you get them at restaurants, they don't have this much crab. Or that one time we went to the crab shack and there's literally three things on the menu and their crab cake had fake crab. So 
You didn't even get crab. Mm -hmm. Need real crabs for this. Ah. And the chili oil. Oh, with the chili crisp is mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. A little extra heat on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is 100% the best crab cake recipe there is. So highly recommend it. Um, again, thank you for watching. And remember next week on Tuesday, December 20th, 7 p.m., we're gonna have that premiere for the uh, Alaska short film of the Tongass National Forest. So join us for that one. Thank you all for watching. See you next week. Peace.